Hello, I'm David. Hi, I'm Julie. So now we're going to do a how to play and playthrough of Dog Park, Ooh. which is for one to four players, ages 10 and up, takes about 40 to 80 minutes to play. So this is a score the most points game after so many set rounds, and the points are represented by your reputation. And you're, try and you're going to collect eight dogs into your kennel here, and then you'll be able to walk one, two, or three, sometimes you might not be able to walk any, but you'll put them into your lead board here, and you'll walk them on this path. And here you'll diverge, you either go this way or this way, and you'll collect uh, different resources to acquire more dogs and to walk those dogs. Uh, and by the end of the game, this is our reputation track here, there is how many different breeds are eight? Uh, yes. And we're going to try to collect breeds of certain, well, we're going to be collecting uh, these breeds here, but certain ones will be worth more points than others at the end of the game. So for whatever breed is here, it's worth eight reputation. The, the breed, these two breeds down here are worth two each. So part of the setup is to shuffle up the breed cards and to randomly determine which breeds are worth the most points at the end of the game. Like I said, we're going to be getting eight uh, dogs at the end of the game. We'll be collecting two dogs each round and we'll be bidding on them. And we're going to have some secret objectives. And with a two-player game, we're going to have the auto uh, walker uh, messing with us on the trail and messing with us on uh, getting um, bidding on dogs. And the auto uh, walker will have a kennel as well, which can impact our ability to get the most points here, which I'll explain. So the pastoral is the breed that's considered eight reputation, working is seven, gun dogs is six. Now this game is made in the UK, so I'm not familiar with that term. That must be a more of a British term. Mm -hmm. Hound is four, toy dogs are three, utility are two, and terrier are two, is also two. So whoever has the most pastoral dogs is going to get eight points. If you're tied, both all players who are tied get eight points. So the auto walker is going to be getting some of these dogs, and the auto walker will always bid on the dog, the three dogs that are going to be up here, will bid on the one that's highest on this uh, chart. <clears throat> now, before we start, we need to get a, uh, an objective. You shuffle up the objectives, each player will get one experience and one standard. You can, each player can choose one or the other, but you don't have, you only uh, play the game with one objective. And this is our ability to score more points at the end of the game. All right, so now we're gonna look at our cards. And you can walk a dog more than once, which I'll explain here in a minute. So here we are looking at our cards. So exciting, I know, for you, for you to watch, watch us do that. Uh, all right, so I'm going to go for the standard one. Let me show you on my camera here. Because typically you're only going to walk a dog once. If I go for this one, I'll get seven reputation if I walk three different dogs at least two times each. And that might be too hard to do. Uh, this one here is a little bit easier to do, because I only, but I'm only going to get three reputation points at the end and it's only two different dogs so I'm going to take the standard one Julie has picked hers and we'll keep Julie's secret for now <clears throat> you'll see that there are reputation uh, well that's the part you see there's boards here for the three and four players and this is the collector's edition these boards are included with the collector's edition. Mm. Okay, the kennel boards. <coughs> Usually they're just put on the table underneath your, your lead oh. card. <clears throat> so there's plenty of dogs here. We don't need all of them. So there's more cards you're gonna, than you're going to use. Uh, so you just it says shuffle them all up. And you're probably going to have to do it. It can take a while to shuffle all these. And you play with half of them. So I put these... I want to put these off to the side. Uh, the dogs. Or is this your objective you didn't use? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to flip up three dogs. There's some beginning resources we start with, which I, I have to look up. Okay. Uh, I'll be the start bidder. Okay. We put the round tracker here. We're going to recruit two dogs. 
Then we're going to select which dog we want to uh, walk, and then we're going to walk. And this is forecast cards. You would flip these up, and you have an idea of what the weather is going to be like. We are not going to play with these cards, but I wanted to show it. But we are going to use them to keep track of when a round is over. Uh, so they they advise you not to play with, with this with your first game. So let me show you what a forecast card does. It changes the rules of the game. We just don't want to deal with that right now to, to teach it to you. So it says during the selection round, gain two reputation for each hound you place on the lead. So this is when you're about to select what dogs you want to walk. And if you do have a hound, you can get two extra reputations. So we're just not going to deal with that for this game, but we are going to use them to keep track of the rounds. So this is the, the first bid marker. Here are our resources. These are used to change up the trail, which I'll show in a moment here. These are location cards. And you shuffle them up, and normally it goes off to the side of the board like this, but when I put the picture in picture on, you won't be able to see it. So it's right here. So this changes the trail, so it's not the same all the time, because when you land in these spaces, you're gonna get these resources and be able to do certain actions. So right here, this X, and I'll show you on the camera right here. That means you can't, no one can use that space. It's blocked. This adds a ball to this space, and this adds a, uh, uh, a stick to another space. So, this, uh, so here is the X. This that space means you is, can't go up there. Uh, you can count it. You just can't, it's blocked. You just can't use it. Okay, uh, here is a, one, two, there's a stick, and then here's an X, a ball. So that means that if you land here, when you're walking, you're going to get one reputation as points and a ball. It, it doesn't come off. That means anybody that lands here can do that. So we put our dog here. We get five reputation because we are going to be bidding, using our reputation to bid. And we're going to be using these bid uh, uh, dials. So you could bid up to, if you really want something and get to, if we're both going for the same dog, you could bid up to five. But you have to at least bid one. So that's how you're gonna, we're going to be doing that here in a moment. <clears throat> resources. So that's what I forgot to look up. What resources do we begin with? We begin with uh, two sticks. So we're doing we're fine. two balls, because this is what you're going to need to do to, I believe these are uh, cardboard counters in the standard edition, and one toy. So one treat, one toy, two balls, and two sticks. And we're going to do that, so if you ever want to walk a dog, let's say I have this dog in my kennel, and I want to walk this uh, this dog this hound it will cost me a stick a ball and a toy and then I'll put that dog in the lead and it says here that when I'm walking now cer certain dogs you get something uh, when you acquire uh, for final scoring so at the end of the game they'll give you something if you meet certain conditions uh, sometimes they'll give you something when you select them to walk and then this in this case you're gonna get something when you're walking them so this says here that when walking this dog, whenever you gain one or more balls, gain a toy as well. So it gets you more resources when you're walking. Let me show you a, a different type of card here. So here's final uh, final scoring example. During final scoring, gain two reputation for each left over toy assigned to this dog. And so at the end of the game, you're gonna see, I'm just gonna put out cards here. Let's say I have these dogs, okay? I'm going to look at which ones have final scoring. These do. These three have final scoring. And I'm going to look at what resources that I have up here in my, in my area here to give to them to get extra points. Uh, and then I'm going to look at here and compete with Julie. So I have two pastoral. If I have the most pastoral, I'll get eight points. But if we're tied, we'll both get eight. If Julie has more than me or the auto walker has more than me, I don't get any points. And then we go down the line. Do I have a working dog? 
Yes, I have one working dog. Maybe Julie has more than me, and we'll keep track of our, our reputation around there. So, like I said, we are going to have eight dogs at the end of the game. Now, the other uh, type of action you can get is that when you're selecting a dog to walk, and you can have up to three if you, if you can pay the uh, resources. The, for, the last time we played, I had no balls the last round, so I couldn't walk any of my dogs. No, you couldn't. Uh, Okay, during selection, when you place this dog on the lead, you may discard a random resource, that's what that means, not a random, but a, a, any resource of, that you'd want to gain up to one uh, stick. stick. Okay? And what I like on the bottom of these cards, it tells you about the dog, like yeah. about their breed, which I found to be really interesting. So just know that you, you are going to get eight dogs at the end of the game. So whether or not you have the resources to walk them. Uh, here are the three that we're starting out with. And was there anything else I needed to go over? Uh, oh, at the end of the game, if you have five of a resource, it's worth one reputation. So if I have five sticks, it's worth one reputation. I think that was it. Oh, and these special action spaces. Okay. So sometimes you're going to acquire a dog here that you don't necessarily want to keep in your kennel. So this card right here allows you to scout. So scouting, uh, when you stop on this space, right now it's blocked, but there is a scout space here. You may reveal, and I'll show you, because after, after we're done, well, let me back up here. We're going to bid on these three. They'll go away. We'll flip up three more, bid on these three. They'll go away, and then at the end of the round, there'll be three more here that will that will be up for us to use to switch dogs out using these actions here, which I'll this which I'm going to explain right now. So you can scout, say the three dogs that are available while you're walking. You may reveal the top two cards of the deck. You may replace a dog in the field. That's the dogs that you bid on with one of the dogs drawn. Remove unselected car, uh, cards from the game. So why why do you want to do that? Let's say there's a dog uh, there's a dog here that uh, I may want to go for the most pastorals because you can acquire a new dog here or at the end of the trail. So that's the other action that you could take while you're on the trail. You can swap, exchange one dog from your kennel with a dog in the field. However, if you do that. You, uh, if they've been walked, they lose their walk collar. So you can swap dogs that you're going for, but if they've been walked in previous rounds, they lose their uh, collar. There is, though, one thing you can do at the very end of the uh, walking round. Whoever gets to the end of the trail first is going to get three reputation, if they want. Or they can do this spot. They get one reputation and then swap a dog and that dog will be walked. So that's important that I'll explain at the end of the round how, how you get reputation. Now let's say we're on the trail here. Okay, I'm here. And you can only go up to one, two, three, or four spaces. Let's say I go here and I just want three reputation points. So I go up three. You one, can't. Two. Because it's for four players. Oh, yeah, I get two. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. I only get two. I get two. Then uh, Julie would go next, and Julie can't get to the end, but she gets, she's going to go here and get two sticks. So she gets two sticks. Now we roll for the auto walker. The auto walker beat Julie to the end. The auto walker doesn't get any of the benefits, but blocks Julie from getting anything. Because the first, with... with uh, a three-player game or a two-player game. Whoever gets two of these spaces, the person who doesn't get to the end misses out on getting any of these bonuses. Now, what happens now on our board? Let's say the first round, I did. I I tried. Uh, I was only able to walk this dog. Okay. Once you once you put it in the lead, you put the walk the the walk symbol on it. At the end of the round. Uh, and again, I don't know why it's not on these on these cheat sheets here. 
But I believe it's two points, is it not? Do you remember, honey? No, I don't. Okay. I'm looking. Okay, walking. It's not on, it's not on the cheat sheet. You actually have to look it up. Mm. Uh, and I'm trying to remember because it's not on there. So that's the end of the round. Yeah, right here, home time. You gain two reputation for each dog on their lead. So once you, once you pay for the resources, they're walked. You put a, a, a collar symbol on it. If there's anybody in the kennel that hasn't been walked, then you lose a reputation. So I'd go up two, but then go down one. And you can walk a dog multiple times, especially if it's a dog that gives you bonuses that you want uh, every time you walk them. And notice my objective, again, I do want to get how many dogs, uh, two different dogs, and walk them twice to get those bonus points. So I am going to want to walk, walk a dog more than once. All right, so let's start playing. That's a lot of description there. Let's see it in action now. Just keep in mind, the whole idea is to acquire dogs of certain breeds so we can get the most points at the end. And then we want to uh, uh, walk dogs who that are in our kennel and to get two points for each dog we've walked and not have any in our kennel at the end of these four rounds. Each round is we're gonna look to see if there's any that we haven't walked and we'll lose points. All right, so let's take a look at what we have here. We're beginning now. We have a greyhound, a hound dog. Hounds are worth four at the end. Toy dog is worth three. Terrier is worth two. So we need to know that the auto walker is going for the, the, the Greyhound. And if there is a tie for bidding, the, uh, the person who bid on it first will win. And it's not clear in the rules, but we're pretty sure the auto walker will bid last every round. So let's take a look at what their special actions are. The pet, this is a pack dog. During final scoring, gain two reputation for each hound in your kennel. So this is good if you're going to go for a lot of hounds. And it's in the middle there. It's worth four points if you have the most. The toy dog, when walking this dog, if you land on an occupied location, do not pay one reputation to gain the location reward. So that means, I forgot to mention that. If we're going to, if, if Julie is here first, give me your, your piece, please. Mm -hmm. If Julie is here first and I really want to get a toy, i got to pay one, one reputation. Uh, to go to the same place as another uh, walker. But with if I have the toy dog in my lead, I'm walking the toy dog, I don't have to lose that one reputation. So that might be a good one to get just to, to take that one on a walk with you. Now, so that's the final scoring. You're not going to care about this text until the end of the game, but you need to keep it in mind. This is when you walk the dog. Here's another one when you walk it. When walking this dog, whenever you gain one or more sticks gain one uh, reputation. So even though the terrier is at the bottom of the, the breed uh, scoring score track here, if you collect sticks like here, 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 and here, you'll get reputation. Remember the object of the game is to get the most reputation. So let's see, where would I, uh, where am I gonna go with? I'm gonna go for the toy dog and you don't have to select, you can change what you're bidding. I don't have to commit to it right now. And the auto, the auto walker is going to go here. So now I've selected, I made my selection. Julie's made her selection. Since there's, we're, we're all going for different things, we're of course going to just bid one. Now let's say Julie went for the same one as me. And I bid one and Julie bid two. She would beat me, and then I would just bid, I would just have to pay one for the one that's left. Even if I, let's, let's say I bid three, okay? And Julie really wanted it and she bid four. She would win the dog, but then I would take what's left, but it only cost me one. I wouldn't have to pay one. I mean, pay three, because I would have, if I would have lost that bid. So, but the point is, we got what we wanted. We go back one. We keep track of what the auto uh, walker gets. So I'm going to put all, uh, over here off to the side. And we add that to our kennel. 
Now in the field, we flip up three more dogs. Okay, uh, we have toy dogs again, and we have a hound. This is final scoring, gain two reputation for each toy dog. This is during final scoring, pay one reputation for each left over, you know, gain one reputation for each left over toy assigned to this dog. Here, this hound is during the selection. So if you're gonna select this dog to walk, during selection, when you place this dog on lead, gain uh, one treat. So I get to bid again. Oh, you can't bone. Oh, that is a treat. That's okay. a treat. Yeah, right. that's what they call treats. Oh. I'm gonna go for this one. Okay, what are you going for? Okay, hang on just a second. Okay, so you are supposed to, uh, I, I said that wrong. Players may change the value of their offer dial up until they place their walker in the queue. So I have to select it before you select yours. I, I did say that wrong. So I'm going to do this. Okay, are you going for that one? Mm -hmm. Now, he is also going to be going for the hound. And you can roll the die for what his bid is. He bid four. What did you bid? One. One. So Julie lost out on this one, but she does she does get that toy dog for one. So now, if we look here, the auto walker has two hounds. That's where I'm putting the auto walker's dogs, which means, oops, we would have to get two or three to get that four uh, reputation points at the end. Now. I wasn't really looking. You put me back one, right? Yeah. I kind of messed up there. I really wanted this toy dog because it gives two reputation for each toy dog in your kennel. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna be able to walk it. I don't have two. I don't have two treats. So I'm gonna lose a reputation not walking that dog. Well, I'm gonna lose a reputation because I don't have two treats and Let's three balls. See your board. Oh, that's why you didn't want that dog yeah. either. So we're so. so we're both in a situation where we can't walk both our dogs. Oh, I can only walk one. Okay. So I'm the one that goes first on the on the walk here. I can only go one, two, three, or four spaces every time. The auto walker is going to be going uh, one, two, three, or four, depending on the die. So now we're going to select. I'm going to take this toy dog, pay my stick, and treat. So I pay the resources. I cannot take this one, so I automatically put a a walk token on that dog. Which one are you gonna take? I'm gonna take this little toy because I have two tennis balls for it. Okay. And I'm gonna put a leash on it. Yes. Unfortunately, I can't do that one. Right, so we're gonna get two points for walking one dog, but lose a point for not walking right. the other. All right, uh, so I do go first here. Mm -hmm. Now my guy, when walking uh, this dog, if you land on an occupied location, do not pay one reputation to gain the location reward. Oh, I have to have three more cards out up on the field in case we want to do any switch outs. We have pastorals here, which mm -hmm. are the, the dog that gets the most points at the end of the game. And we have another hound. This one, final scoring, gain two points for each pastoral. This one here, when you place this dog on the lead, gain a ball. That would have been good for you to have, huh? Uh, during final scoring, gain two for each hound. Uh, by the way, the auto walker doesn't compete with us for points. It's only going to deny us points on the breed track. So where am I going to go? I need to keep in mind, I need to get more uh, treats. So I go there, I get a treat, and it's four, uh, four spaces away. Your turn. All right, I... Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> I'm you gonna you get need ball. balls, yeah. Okay, the auto walker rolls, goes three. It just goes there. The whole point of the auto walker is it can beat us to the end, denying one of us uh, one of these bonuses 
and it can also make it more costly to go to spaces if the auto walker is there first and we have to pay one reputation to go there as well. I'm going to go... So I need sticks and treats. One, two, three, four. I'm going to go here, get a stick and a toy. And you got another treat. I mean, another another treat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, he goes one. He's red. So that's okay that he's there with you. Okay. Now I'm going to go get another treat. Your turn. Now you can go up that way or go down the same path. You just can't land on this one. Right, right. It's blocked. Um... So you got a stick and a toy. All right. I'm going to exit the park. I'm taking the one reputation. Move me up one reputation. I'm going to do a swap. And this swap means I swap out a dog in the kennel, and it will be considered walked. So I'm switching out this pack dog, German Shepherd, which is my symbol here. And we should lay these down so they can see. It's not a German Shepherd. It's an Australian cattle dog. You're right. My mistake. <clears throat> I wasn't reading it carefully. So I swap it out. It can, it's considered walked, and it's the one that's worth the most points. So this dog, this goes into the discard pile, and uh, I've ended my turn. And now I have both my dogs walked, so I'll get... I won't lose a point... I'm only going to get two points, but at least I won't lose a point. Because you only get points for those that are in the lead that have been walked. Who's here? Oh, no, he's here. One, two, three, four. Okay, are you going to leave? Yeah. Okay, so of course... Now, you can't take the three because you pointed out that's for the uh, four-player game. So Julie's beating me by reputation, and this round ends. And so we go back to our, our kennel. I get two for having one walk dog. I do not lose any points because this dog in the kennel has also been walked. I you get, get two. two, but then you lose one for not having a dog walked. So now the dog and our, dogs in our uh, lead come back down into our kennel. Julie will be the first player now. And then we fill the field up. We take, uh, we're on the next round. I'll turn over this card. We get a new uh, location. This is uh, we're putting the block. I oh, can't get balls there. You get, can you give me the ball that I... Mm -hmm. Because it came from mine, my train. I haven't counted out. And we have an added uh, swap token here. No, it's on here. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. speaking of dogs, here comes ours. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she just opened the door and let herself she in. She literally opened the door. <laughs> Hi, honey. Okay, lay down. All right, so this is the resources we have. And this time, we're going to be more careful and not bid on dogs that we can't walk. Yeah, exactly. Now, we could walk <clears throat> uh, our dogs again, especially if you have an objective like I do, where I want to do that. Because I want to walk two dogs again. All right, but Julie, you're first. We have a terrier. <clears throat> it's a, this When walking this dog, whenever you gain one or more toys, gain a, another reputation. When you're selecting this dog to walk, when you place this dog on lead, you gain a ball. That could be good. And, yeah, but and he's going to go for that one, too. Yeah, you're right. The auto walker is going to go for that one. He would bid one, two, three, or four for it, depending on the role. The hound, uh, final scoring gain two reputation for each hound in your kennel. Okay. All right, so when you select it, remember I said that rule wrong. you gotta, you got to decide your bid before I go. Okay. 
Okay, I am going to go... Well, Terrier's only worth two. All right, I'm going to try to go for it. Okay. Okay, I have my bid. The Auto Walker also goes for it because it's the highest one mm -hmm. in the breed track. So, uh, you can roll. I guess it's, you're the... Uh -oh. All right, well, I bid two. It beat The uh, Auto Walker beat me, which means I get the Terrier for one, and you got yours for one. We both go back one. And it's cost two balls and a treat. That terrier is expensive. <laughs> and it's, I might swap that one out because it's only worth two points at the end. All right, uh, add three more dogs to the field. Okay, we're getting utility dogs and a working dog. Working dog is, can be worth seven at the end if you have the most. That's one he's going to go for. Yes. Uh, during selection, when you place this dog on lead, you gain a stick. When walking, this dog, whenever you gain one or more balls, gain a reputation. When walking this dog, this is the working dog, whenever you gain one or more toys, you may swap. But remember, when you swap, they're not considered walked. Right, right. All right, I am going to... So what are we going to go for here? Well, what are you going to go for? I got to look at, geez, I need two balls and a treat. I think I'm going to go for this. I need it to, I need to be. I'm going to go for this one. That's the one I was going to go for. Ah. Well, I might have to go for it too. Okay. I am. And he's going for the working. Yeah, which means he's going to get it automatically. Yep. Okay, let's flip it up. We went for the same one. We both bid two. You get it because you were the first one there. So you go back two. I go back one, and I get the dog that I didn't necessarily... I can't... I mean, I don't mind having that dog. That's the. I just can't pay for it to and walk he it. He gets this dog. Okay, so if you look at what the auto walker has here, the auto walker has those four dogs. Okay, now we have, we put three up in the field in case you want to do any swaps. All right, I'm going to, what am I going to walk? Okay, I'm going to walk my I can't utility. can't walk all three. There's a ball, okay. two balls. So we're paying our resources to walk our dogs now. And then, and then, I don't have enough treats. I can't even walk a dog a second time. I can pay for two dogs. My dogs require too many treats. Yeah, I can only pay for two dogs. Okay, I'm just showing your board there. Okay, when selection, when I place this dog on a lead, I gain a stick. And then when walking this dog, whenever I gain one or more sticks, I gain one reputation. But you're not walking yet. Now, you can, <coughs> um, this is important oh, sorry, little honey. rule here, that you can uh, put a dog on lead, okay? And then use that resource that you've gotten from that dog you put on lead to pay for another dog to come up. So in other words, if you needed a stick mm -hmm. first, you could put this dog on lead and use that stick you got from that dog to bring another dog up. Well, what, so what about this one? I can't bring that one up because I don't have another treat. Right, but let's say that dog gave you a treat when you mm -hmm. put it on lead, then you could have used that treat. Oh, to bring it. So I see what you're saying. I, need to exp I want to explain that rule that there is some strategy and ordering. Okay. Uh, so unfortunately, I have another dog here. I can't uh, walk. So you go. Well, since sticks give me reputation, I'm going to take it and go up one. Okay, so you get, get a, stick. a stick. Now I go. Oh, I got to put a, a walk token on this dog. When I get a ball, I don't need balls, though. I need treats. Well, I might as well 
Get a reputation. Okay. A reputation, please. Got it. Your turn. Oh, no. Yeah, the auto walker. Goes here. Now my turn, huh? Yep. Okay. I'm going to go here and get a treat. That's where I wanted to go. I'm sorry, baby. I have no treats, so I have to lose a reputation if I want to go there. Mm-hmm. Treats are hard to come by. Mm hmm I agree. One, two, three, four. I'm just going to go here. Okay. Give me uh, uh, another reputation. You got it. Okay. So I have lots of balls. It goes two. One, two. Okay. okay I'm actually going to... I'm going to go up here. One, two. I guess it's a ball. And a stick. And a stick. Okay. I go here to get a treat. I got one treat. Goes two. I'm going to go one, two. Oh, it's actually three. One, oh, two, three. Thank you. Get a reputation. Okay, now I'm going to beat you to the end on All purpose. Right. Because I'm going to switch out this pastoral for my terrier. Okay. And that way I can... Now I have two for the pastoral. That's why I did that. And now this goes... Since I didn't walk, at least I won't lose a point. Uh, did you give me one reputation? I'm green. Okay. Now he goes... Three. Well, I'm gonna beat him. All right, so you get two reputation. All right, so we're done with this round. We clear this. Uh, I only get two reputation from my dog. Okay. I didn't lose any though because all of them were walked. I get f four reputation. Four, but I go back. lose one, so you only get you get three. So right now the score is Julie has twelve, I have ten. But I have two pastoral dogs, so that's eight points. I have a toy dog, that's a possible three points. And I have a utility, uh, which should only be worth two points. Julie is going for... Uh, I don't want to go for. Well, the point is, I'm, I'm pointing out what you have. Uh -huh. You have a hound, a toy, a utility, and a terrier. So I have all four of these. Yeah, you're going for the ones on the bottom. doesn't mean you can't get ones at the top. Now the the auto walker is probably going to beat us on hounds. It is trying to compete with me on pastorals. I have two right now, and it is it has one working dog. We don't have any working dogs, do we? Mm -mm. So I take off the picture and picture. You can see better what's going on here. So this is what we keep track of because the auto walker is going to deny us stuff if we're not careful. All right. Uh, Your first now. Yeah. I'm going to take off these tokens. Let's uh, flip up the location card. We add a stick here. We add, a ball here. We add another swap here and a ball here. Yep. Now this is what's up. And uh, I'm looking at my final scoring. There's no pastoral. It's a working. He has, the auto walker has one working, just so you know. Let's see what they have here for points. When walking, or abilities, when walking this dog, you gain one more toy. When you gain a toy, you gain a reputation. When walking, when you gain a toy, you get a treat. Final scoring, you get one reputation for each leftover stick assigned to this dog. So that could be good since you got a lot of sticks. But I get to bid first, and i got to figure out what I'm going to go for. Now, the auto walker is going to be going for this one. I have a lot of balls, so I'm going to go for this one. And i got to decide my bid. Okay, I made my bid. I might, hopefully my bid's okay, because he's going to go for this one too. Okay, you're going for the toy. 
Now keep in mind that if, if the auto walker beats me, I could go for the toy. No, I go for the one that's left. That's right. So I won't be. I won't be. Uh, you'll be getting yours for sure. So bid one. I did. All right. So let's. You roll. It's your. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, I didn't get it, but at least I didn't lose through reputation. So I get this utility dog. I go back one. And unfortunately, this utility dog, one. I don't have two sticks. <clears throat> so I got messed up on that. I put you back one. Yes. The auto walker gets the working dog. So I don't know if we're going to be able to compete with the uh, auto walker on, on working dogs or hounds now. I got the toy. Yeah. All right, next round. There's more balls there, babe. Final scoring. Gain two for each. Gain two reputation each uh, collar on this dog. So if you walk this dog more than once, including the first one, you get two points. Here, final scoring. You get two reputation for each working dog in your kennel. I don't have any. Uh, sociable. During final scoring, gain one reputation for each breed category represented in your kennel. So this could be good for you because you have a lot of different breeds. Mm -hmm. The uh, auto walker is going to be going for the working dog because it's higher up. Right. So I have this utility dog that I can't really use. I can't even walk it. I'm going to go for this one. And let me do my bid. Hang on. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Do you even have any balls? See, you won't go for that one, so I'm going to bid low. Unless you want to try to deny me. Okay, reveal. I bid one. You bid one. The auto walker now has three working dogs, so we're probably not going to get the points for the working dog. Nope. I have the toy dog. Did you put me back one? I did. Did you put yourself back one? I did. Okay, so let's do our who we're going to take on the walk. I'm taking this toy dog. I paid two balls. And I'm gonna take someone else again. Cause I gotta look at my uh, objective. Well, I will walk this one again, this other toy dog. I'm walking three dogs. Well, you have enough resources to do that. Yep, That's so I don't good. lose a reputation. I am gonna lose a reputation unless I do my swap again. Yeah. Okay, so, you know, I've walked this dog before, but I still have to pay to pay the resources to walk it again. I don't have a lot of resources left. Uh, where am I going to go? Oh, wait, honey. We've got to put these oh, on. yeah. In case we want to swap out. They are sure cute. They're gun dogs we haven't had yet. Mm -mm. You may want to try to swap that one out, maybe, if you want to get different. But I know what you want to do is you have a lot of toy dogs. Do you have a toy dog final scoring where you get no. two for each one? Hopefully you can get one of those cards. But you are going to get six points. Okay. I, I need to get... I don't quite... Does that mean... Okay, so Julia has a question about her objective, so that means I'll know it, but no big deal. Does that mean just seven different, like, or is it doing seven different breeds? Get seven reputation if you have walked at least seven different dogs. Just different dogs, not breeds. Oh, okay. So I had that one the first time we played. So I'm doing pretty good then because I will have walked six. That's correct. So at the end of the oh, game, though, okay. we have one more round to go. You're going to need to walk. We're going to get two more dogs. At least one more you dog. To, you need to walk at least one more dog. Okay. By the way, we're here on walking right now. I okay. keep on forgetting to move the bird. Uh here I go again on my own. I'll get a stick. <laughs> Your turn. All right, baby. Um, I'm going to go for a... I'm going to go for a ball. Can you get a ball? Yeah. He goes three. He gets a toy. Oh, what am I doing? He doesn't get anything. He's just blocking that spot. When walking this dog, so I can land in the same space without having to uh, pay the one reputation. But I'm going to get that treat. Your turn. I'm going to go here. I get a treat, but 
it says, <clears throat> excuse me, walking this dog, whenever you gain one or more tre uh, toys, you gain a reputation, but I lose it because I'm with him. Right. <clears throat> okay, scratchy voice. We both have scratchy voice. It's dry right now. Now, I could get reputation, but I need to get resources. Do I have anything where I get resources? Well, now I'm looking at during final scoring if I have extra resources. If I get more sticks, if I keep this guy. There's a pastoral there if you want to swap out. Yeah, I might be doing that. So, one, two, you know what? One, two, three, four. I'll get a toy. Your turn. Now you may want to do a scout action to try to get another toy up here. And you get to look at two and swap somebody out. Okay, I'm going to go here and get a ball and a... Wait, he has to go. Oh, you're right. Three. One, two. And the, the current player gets to decide what direction to go. Two, three. Okay, now I get my ball and treat. Your turn. He's moving pretty fast, so you got to be careful. I know. And I get to go up a reputation. You go up another reputation because you got another toy? Yeah. Now I got to decide do I beat you? You've been beating me before, why not? Or do I get two six? I'm going to beat you because I want to get this pastoral, switch it out, and be able to walk it. So I don't lose a point. And move me up rep one reputation. Now I roll. It only goes one. So it could roll a one or a two if you want to chance it. But if it rolls a three or four, it will beat you. Wow, you're going for it. Mm -hmm. You're going to get a reputation, huh? No, I don't get a reputation for that. Only when you get toys? Yeah. Okay, here I go. Two. You gambled. You uh, gambled. Unless you want to get two six and not get the two points, it's up to you. All right, you got the two points. So Julie keeps on uh, getting a lot. She's beating me right now with 13 to 9. We'll see what happens here. So this is the final round. I'll go with the card. Uh, let's do what gets in the locations. We're blocking this location. We're adding a reputation here when you go here now. So you can scout and get a reputation. What goes here? And we get a swap here. I get f uh, four points. And you walked three, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Well, you moved it from your lead. I mean, oh, I'm sorry. I had three dogs up there. And you had, and, there were, and there's nobody unwalked in no. your kennel. All mm -hmm. right, so you get six. So now Julie has 19 reputation, and I have 15. So she's, you know, 13. <coughs> You're beating me by six. Well, I need all the help I can get because you have <coughs> all those other big dogs. I have a lot of pastoros. Now I got to keep in mind my. Uh, my objective, I need to walk a dog twice. And I got one walk twice here. And we're probably going to walk this toy dog again because I, if he, every time he's walked, he gets two points. So that's a good one. Okay, well, you are first bid. Where do you want to go? Just so you know, he's not going for gun dogs at all. Uh, but gun dogs, he is going to go for this time. There's two of them. Because there's two of them. He will not go for the <clears throat> terrier. Well, let's look at what they do. When walking, whenever you gain one or more treats, you gain a ball. 
It might not be that useful unless you have a dog you can assign balls to at the end for final scoring. When walking this dog, whenever you gain one or more balls, you gain a toy. During final scoring, you gain two reputation for each terrier you have in your kennel. You sure you don't want this one? You have a you have a terrier. But I don't have a gun dog. I need you see, seven different dogs. Oh, okay, true. <clears throat> You'll get to decide which one it goes for here, which gun dog, okay? Well, I guess I'll go for, I'm not gonna beat any either one of you in, well, I can get six points. I should go for the gun dog too. Okay, so I'm gonna make my selection. Uh, which one is the auto walker gonna go for? Me, of course. That's okay. Well, because you have so Yeah, many. it's all right. Go ahead and roll. <clears throat> I th I, that's why I only bid. I didn't bid a lot because I thought he would beat me. So he's got one. I get this terrier. Okay, next round. Sorry. Move me, move me back one. I did. Where did you bid? One. Well, I could have went for you instead. You are bidding really low at times. Okay, this hound. During final scoring, gain one reputation for each leftover stick. That could be good for you. Uh, terrier, when walking this dog, whenever you gain one or more bones, you you may swap. Mm. Well, not bones, but treats. When walking this dog, whenever you gain one or more toys, you gain a stick. So hounds, we're not going to beat. Uh, do you have a hound? Uh, yes, I have one. Okay, mm -hmm. well, he's tied for that. He's going to be going for the hound. And there's there's two, hounds, two hounds. So he's going to... Unless we both get him and beat him. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen there. Okay, so... Are we ready? You bid first. Okay, I'm going to go for this guy. Okay, I'm going to go for this guy. You go. Uh, which one do you want him to go for? That Ooh, one. That one. Yeah. Okay, I only bid one. Me too. Okay, move me back one. Done. Got my terrier. Now he has three hounds. He's going to beat any one of us in hounds unless you do a swap and somehow you're able to get more hounds. Okay, here are the three that you can... Just so you know, this terrier, oh, that's when walking, when selecting. None of these are going to matter at final scoring, but they could matter for when you're, bid when you're trying to get the most of a breed. Right. Uh, so I gotta pay for my two. I already did mine. <clears throat> now, I gotta walk another dog again. Hang on, let me make sure I have enough here. You're fine. And yes, I will walk this guy again. I have two balls. So we get to put things on here at the end, like. <clears throat> yes. So get... if I have more balls, I can put put it on here. Correct. Okay, that's what I'm well, gonna do. Well, show on the camera what you're talking about. <clears throat> this guy here, it says, during final scoring, gain one reputation for each leftover ball assigned to this dog. Maximum of six. Yeah, so you want to get more balls then. Yep. All right, so I was able to walk three dogs. And I have some toys left. Do I have anything at the end where I want... Oh, yeah, I want to get leftover balls too. Okay. You're first. Of course. Well, I need it too. Hmm. I'm just going to move ahead. Oh, that was... He goes too. Your turn. You get a, rep, a reputation. <clears throat> I'm going to go here. Give me a reputation. He goes one, two, three. Which way do you want him to go? You can land on me. 
Or you can go there. No, because he has to go there. If you're going for balls, you don't, you don't want him there. <clears throat> I can get balls there. Okay. Your turn. Get a reputation. I go. I'm getting two balls. Okay, you lose a reputation, though. It's all right. Okay, I go. I'm getting two reputation and leaving the park. Uh, he rolls. He can beat you. He did not. You got lucky. So you get one reputation. Do you want to do a swap? No. All right. So give me six, please. Okay, you get four. And all our dogs are walked. So we didn't lose anything. So now I'm, I'm moving them back down into the kennel. Uh, so let's look at our objectives first. My objective <coughs> was gain three reputation if you have two different dogs who have at least two collars. So I do, so move me up three, please. Now yours, you have seven, do you have seven different breeds? Seven different dogs? Yep. That have been I walked? Have eight dogs. You have eight dogs that have been walked? Yeah. So this is, again, Julie's objective. She just needs to have seven dogs that have been walked, and she does. So she goes up seven points. Okay, now let's take a look here at... We don't need to have these cards here anymore. Let's take a look at what the auto walker has here. Let's go in order here. He has one pastoral. Uh, if we do this in order... Working is next. He has three working. As hound, one gun dog, oh, yeah, one gun dog, and, then and hound. three hounds. Okay, so we need to do that for comparisons here. Let's go in order. I have three pastoral. How many pastoral do you have? None. All right, and I beat the auto walker, so I get eight. I'll do it. Oh, thank you. One, two, three, four, <coughs> five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we've, we've settled that. Now we do the working dogs. I don't have any. I don't have any, so nobody gets seven points. The auto walker would. The gun dog, he has one. What do you I have? I have one. So you both get six points. You're yellow, right? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you know what? Why? I don't have this board all the way down. That's weird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, now we do hounds. He has three. I have none. I have two. That's a bummer for you. Yeah. You almost could have gotten those points. Yeah. Okay. Now we go to toys. I have two toy dogs. I have three. Really? You yep. beat me on toy dogs? Yep. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so you get three. One, two, three. Uh, let me move the picture in picture so you can see the score here. Now we do utilities. I have one. I have one. Wow. Again, not paying attention to what you're going for. I was so focused on walking my dogs and getting resources. <laughs> uh, so we both get two. You get 41. So you're over here at 41. Okay. Uh, now we do terriers. I have two terriers. I only have one. So I get two. Now we do uh, any special stuff on here. So let me go through my cards first. Sure. Fun of scoring. Gain two reputation for each pastoral dog in your kennel, and you include the one that you have. So that's six. Nice. That's 41. I'm tied with you. Very nice. Uh, that's final scoring. During final scoring, gain one reputation for each leftover ball. I have two balls. So I'm at 43 now. Okay. Final scoring. Gain two reputation for each collar on this dog. Give me four more. Uh, final scoring. Gain two reputation for each terrier. I have two, so that's four. Okay, so I'm done with my final scoring. What are your final scores? Uh, during final scoring, gain one reputation for each breed category re represented in your kennel. So I have one, two, three, four, five different breeds. I think you have, oh, you do have five because right. these are the same. Yeah. So five. So you go up five. And then during final scoring, gain one reputation Which for one each. Which are you pointing at right, right here? For each leftover ball assigned to this dog, I can assign four balls. So you get four points. So you get four points. 
And during final scoring, gain two reputation for each hound in your kennel. Yeah, yeah, they can't see which one you're pointing at. And I have two hounds. So you get how much? Gain two reputation for each hound. Okay. So I get four points. And that's, that's it. it. Wow, good job. That was close. If I would have just had uh, beat you here on one thing, or mm -hmm. I could have. But yeah, I only lost by three points. Wow. So there you go. That is Dog Park. Now, we didn't play with the, uh, the forecast, which could change scoring. It was better just to play without it. Yeah. That way. I liked it better. Yeah. I mean, you, if you want to make add more complexity, where for that round, you got to consider this extra rule. That's why we didn't, we didn't do that. All right, so please uh, check out our other videos, and eventually we will post a review of this if you want to check that out, too. Thanks so much for playing along with us, you guys, and we'll see you next time. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye.